Thank you very much. As you all know, my country, South Africa, recently took Israel to the International Court of Justice. And the highest court in the world, led by an American judge, concluded that there is a plausible risk, that there is prima facie evidence, in other words, that Israel is committing genocide in Gaza. This is something that we can all see every day with our own eyes on our screens. It's not something we needed the highest court in the world to tell us. But let us also remember what was included in South Africa's submission. The intentional targeting and killing of Palestinian journalists on the ground. Why are they doing that? Because they do not want us to know what they are doing on the ground to innocent Palestinians. Those journalists are informing the world of what is happening. This is exactly what Julian has spent his life doing. In the 23 years that I've been investigating and researching the murderous and corrupt global trade in weapons, the most effective, the most important truth teller on the global arms trade, on the warfare committed in our names with our tax pounds has been Julian Assange. And while those who committed the war crimes have not only all gone free, but have all profiteered from their war crimes, it is Julian who speaks truth to power who is on trial. But it is not only Julian who is on trial. It is the British system of justice. It is the British government. It is the US government. It is our entire system of war-making, of imperialism, and of deep-seated corruption. <laughs> Forgive me for paraphrasing my former boss, Nelson Mandela, but the reality of our democracies, of our world, is that our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of Julian Assange. <laughs>